Here is a really important concept for teams intubating patients with transmission-based precautions. The risk to staff outweighs the risk to the patient. The priority is not to get exposed to the virus. The principles are to anaesthetize and intubate the patient as quickly as possible by the best laryngoscopist, who is usually the anaesthetist. The anaesthetist and her assistant must not be distracted by anything else, so ideally you need a third person in the team. We have an emergency physician or an intensivist in this role. Now, let's talk about situational awareness and evolution. If you're a gazelle out in the savanna, you are on alert the whole time for great big bloody cats. You hear a rustle in the bush, you think, shit, what was that? You hear a twig snap, fuck, it's a lion. You are hyper vigilant for anything that might be a threat. This is potentially a useful state for a hands-off team leader to be in, because you're not going to miss a trick. Desaturation, hypotension, loose connections, you are on the lookout. You could call this prey mode. But how about this cheetah though? Once her eyes are on her prey and she starts running, she is in the zone, 100% focused on her goal. She sees and hears nothing else. She's not going to be distracted by email or her Twitter feed right now. She's going to get shit done. But she might miss the poacher who is sitting metres away in his Land Rover with his rifle aimed at her. She has a clear job to do, but shouldn't be relied upon to notice other things around her. You could call this predator mode. So both these states of vigilance are useful at different times. And as team leaders and team members, we fluctuate between them as aspects of a resuscitation demand our specific attention. We have the hyper-vigilant prey mode and the hyper-focused predator mode. When you're intubating patients with airborne precautions, you cannot afford error. The anaesthetist has to have eyes in and be laser focused on a swift intubation. The airway assistant has to be equally focused on supporting the intubation. The team leader needs to support the intubation, but in particular, needs to guide the airway team on a, the agreed steps, like no mask ventilation, ensure there's rapid connection to a closed system, and be responsible for the rest of the patient, given the RSI drugs watching for hypotension and so on. So the anaesthetist is in predator mode. The team leader is in prey mode. And it's very difficult to keep all the things that you need to be vigilant to in your working memory as a team leader. So we use a checklist and a scripted command sequence. Here is the emergency physician team leader using the command sequence to ensure that the steps for preparation are proceeding according to the agreed script. Here's the airway team being 100% focused on a swift video laryngoscopy and intubation before the patient desaturates. Unlike in normal anesthesia, they can't be concerned with the rest of the patient's physiology right now, just the anatomy. The team leader is watching the vitals on the monitor. He is in control of the anesthetic drugs and has vasopressors ready. In the event of failed intubation, he will prompt the team to place a supraglottic airway and to avoid bag mask ventilation. If front of neck access is required, he'll perform it from the side of the patient in a can't intubate, can't oxygenate situation. And of course, at that point, he becomes the predator and the anaesthetist should assume vigilance for safe circuit connections, looking at the saturations and the blood pressure and so on. So in terms of role allocation, it's important that the team situational awareness is maintained and that team members are clearly aware of their responsibilities. In the setting of an intubation, of a patient with transmission-based precautions in place and that patient's hypoxic, the airway team has to focus 100% on intubation and the team leader must remain vigilant to ensure staff safety by minimalizing any aerosolization and optimizing patient safety through providing safe anesthesia and further physiological support. No animals were harmed in the making of this video. Please stay safe out there. Good luck.